Hi guys! Hi! Welcome to Vegan View TV. I'm Katie. And I'm Margaret. We are here today in Montreal and we are in Margaret's backyard. We're going to show you all the kinds of vegetables that she has lined up around. It's pretty cool. You ready? You ready? Yeah, I'm all ready. Right. Okay, so we're here at the end of my yard. We're gonna start at the end. Um, and I wanna show you, like this is a really fresh plant. I just actually found it yesterday, yesterday while weeding. This is a blackberry um, bush. Uh, I guess it's gonna start having blackberries next year. For now, it doesn't. Um, my neighbor actually has a huge ra uh, blackberry bush right there and I guess some of them have fallen. Aww. And uh, a so little cute. plant has started growing here. So awesome. we're going to wait for that for next year. I propped it up. Great. Okay. Okay, so here we have uh, a couple of pots. So this pot has uh, gooseberries in it. They just started flowering, so the flowers will turn into, uh, sorry, not gooseberries, into uh, ground cherries. Oh. So this is a ground cherry plant. Uh, right next to it, we have a gooseberry bush. So these are goose gooseberries, so those started to have some um, fruits on it. Again, this is just one year old plant. Mm. Right next to this, we have a raspberry bush. So this one is quite big and you can see all of the uh, fruits starting to come out mm -hmm. over here. And some of and them at the bottom. Here. Yeah, some of them oh, are already are. starting to be ready to eat. We actually have been picking through them and my yeah. dogs too. And here. Yeah. So Rosie, my dog, will probably come and eat that <laughs> by the end of the day. Uh, then later on here we have another pot that I was going to use for something, but when I came to it in the spring, uh, I've noticed that three tomato plants started growing completely <laughs> on their own, as well as some kind of a squash. I'm not really sure what kind, but it started to... Uh, yeah, have... this is cool. There's like a vine here that goes all the way down here, and yeah. we've got some flower here, Yeah, and then... And then it is. It's so tiny, and yeah. then it's gonna go down, I guess, and lay on the ground, right? Eventually, yeah. yeah. It's it's yeah. All right. All right. So we're gonna move along here. This is an apple tree. It's a dwarf apple tree. We got the tree last year, so it's just a year old tree right now. So that's why it doesn't really have any fruits yet. There's just one apple on it. One little apple. Yeah. So cute. <laughs> but this will start having again. Um, Maybe two years from now, it'll start having some fruit. Okay. All right. So this whole bed over here, this is all kinds of different tomatoes. So they are still green, but you can see there's a lot of tomatoes on each of the plants. Mm -hmm. So there's some Italian and some okay. other types. Different varieties. Different right. varieties, yeah. Nice, wow. Yeah. So there's more tomatoes. My husband loves tomatoes. So it's we have be two awesome. beds full of tomatoes. Here and we've got Oh, so these are really hot peppers and next to it we have little jalapeno peppers growing. Look at that. Yeah, and then we have a whole... Oh my god, look at this. Yeah, this is... This is like straight out of what you find in the supermarket. <laughs> yeah, wow. so these are lettuces. No There's packaging. No packaging. Many, many different types of lettuces. We have a whole bed of those because we use those every single day. Wow. Then we have uh, herbs. So this is our herb uh, bed. So these are pepper... That's a peppermint. Mm. I'm going to smell that. Oh, so good. Yeah, and the, that's a sage plant. Okay. So like sage that you cook with. Mm. Uh, there are some strawberries that I planted, but our dogs eat most of those. <laughs> uh, there is some chocolate mint and some chives and some... Um, parsley. Parsley. Yeah. And some thyme here. Uh, we also have parsley, this, this sage, huge bush over here. And <laughs> That's oregano here. So we dry this for the winter. Um, we have tarragon growing over here. Um, Very cool. Yeah, that's... And right. I think there's winter savory underneath. This is our bed of kale. Look so at all the baby kale. Yeah, so I pick through the leaves wow. every morning to make my smoothies. And at the back we have a row of cucumbers. So we've already picked oh, yeah. a few, but you can see the baby ones are starting to and come up you have the here. vines that are just curled right around here. Yeah, they're That's holding, so cool. the plant is holding on and wow. climbing. And, and what's then, in the cage? Well, this huge contraption, my husband had to build this because we had squirrels that would come and uh, actually 
eat all the corn on the on the plants. Wow. So he's built Look at that. that. It has a roof and everything. <laughs> so we have our corn inside here. <laughs> So you can see some of them are starting to grow cobs. Yeah, let's see. You can oh, see yeah. the hair. Look at the hair. Yeah. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah. And here yeah, and they're starting to flower. Look at that. Over here. And you can so. see guys, we're in the middle of like the city almost, like buildings everywhere. So this is so neat. Mm -hmm. Little oasis. And then we have our compost. Here's the compost. Yeah, so we compost all of the stuff that and this is a tomato growing right out of it, yeah, right? Yeah, we had a tomato <laughs> that just grew right out of our compost and I kept it just for yeah. fun, well, but yeah. it will have um, tomatoes because it has flowers on it. Okay, so let's look and inside the compost. compost. Ta -da! As you so. can see, it's all the wonderful bits of uh, vegetables and fruit that you didn't use, yeah. turning into wonderful earth. Amazing. So we keep that covered again because otherwise we would have squirrels and all kinds of stuff coming right. to eat that. And last but not least, we have a couple plum trees. So there are some plums on this tree, but again, this is only a year and a half old tree. So you were saying that it, it was about this high when you first got it? Yeah, last year yeah. in the spring we planted that. I can't that. believe it grew this it much. Really My God. Yeah. It's massive. So this, so. this will have those like little plums. Yeah. And we have another plum tree that's even bigger, but it's also just a year and a half old. Yeah. And this one will have big round plums on it right. in another couple years. Oh, and look, a little friend. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a baby, um, what do you call Ladybug. Ladybug, yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of them here. So ladybugs are actually really good for pest control. Cool. So we encourage them to come over. Well, thank you, Margaret, for thank showing you. us your backyard and all your wonderful plants. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.